Welcome to the CS1001 project. The aim of this tutorial is to show you how to run the sample application which has been provided in the ULink. Okay, before we start this, let me tell you something about something uh, how to start this whole process. The first thing is that you should create a project call uh, you should create a folder called CS1001 group project lab in your H drive. Now there is a possibility that there is not even a, enough space in your hash drive. You should make sure that you have around about 10 MB of 10 MB or um, more space in your hash drive. Now, how you should manage your hash drive that has been um, written in this document, which we have again uploaded in, in the U link. Uh, effectively, you can check the space that is available in hash drive from start menu, show hash drive size, and it shows you your size of hash drive you can say show large folders it shows you all the folders which are large in size and then probably you can go and delete those that are not important okay so having made the space in the hash drive and having created a folder called cs1001 group project we go inside this folder now let's create two folders inside this one is cs1001 eclipse project which we'll use to store the eclipse project and cs1001 output folder which we'll use to store the output var file from our application into Eclipse. Okay, now this is the zip file that you should have received from ULink. So if I open the zip file, there are three compressed zip files inside this. Admin, um, CS1001 admin.zip, Zawadoc, uh, and Vivian students. Now, This Vivian student ID, you need if you if you unzip it, then this is what is inside it. Okay, so we stop here. Now, what we would be doing would be creating an Eclipse project and copying the source and the GSP files from here onto the Eclipse project. Okay, now let's go back to Eclipse now. Okay, so you click here, you say all programs, um, copying software Eclipse. The version that we are using in of Eclipse in this labs is 3.3 and if at home you have installed Galileo which is latest version 3.5 more or less it's the same thing okay so we click on the run menu run okay now workspace is the base folder wherein you store all your Eclipse project now you should because I was using this before that's why it has come like this on your machine probably it will be something like C user something something so what you should do you should browse it um, to your H drive uh, this one and this this is the CS1001 Eclipse project that we just created the folder that we just created now you click it and you say okay all right now you get file new project web dynamic web project um, give it some name now the name that you should probably give is um, should have the same naming convention as mentioned in coursework so I let's suppose if this is for team 2 so I say team 2 task 3 all right make sure that the base folder is this here yeah? hcs okay we skip everything we just say next now The version of Java that has been installed on these local machines in your in the SG123 lab is 6.0. But the version of Java that we are using in the virtual machine is 0.5. So we will say Java 5.0. We'll say next. These are the folders created, then you finish. Say yes. Okay, now what we do is we go back to the project that we have received from the ULink. Now, let me open a new Explorer window. I go to computer, I go to H drive, I say this one. Now, this is the folder that has been created for the project which you have just created in the Eclipse. 
and this is the files vvens twin id that you should have received from ulink now i'll try to copy the stuff here so first i say these two jsp files i go to my this folder maybe i can do them side by side okay so this is the structure which you should uh, for the project that you have just created so i go inside the web content and I paste the JSP files here. So JSP files should be directly under the web content. Then I go and I pick up lib folder, properties folder, and I copy them inside webenf, lib folder, properties folder. All right. Now this web.xml, we need to make little changes to it. I say edit in Notepad plus. This is the web.xml for your Eclipse project. And this is the web.xml for the project which you should have received from the ulink. Okay, now this means which is the first file that should open, so I skip all that. So from servlet to servlet mapping, I copy and copy that into this. Okay, one more change. You can say probably which is the first file that should open, that should be probably index.jsp file. All right, now that's done. Okay, next thing is to copy the source code. Now, if you go to the classes one, which is in the the project that you have received from the ulink you go to classes there's a you kit you just copy the source come back to your eclipse project there's a source folder here click on the source folder and you copy it here okay now you go back to the eclipse one you should so click refresh Okay, when you click refresh, you should see all the Java sources here, your two index.jsp and listmodel.jsp here. So we click on the index.jsp. Okay, now um, just we, sh we would make a small change to this index. So we will probably write, um, you know, this is for. out.println we use to output the content onto the browser so we say out.println this is for team 2 if your team id is team 5 team 6 you should just change it okay we save this okay so the right now we're just showing you how to run it so we won't make any further changes we have just made a small changes in index.jsp now we go and refresh this folder here now there is a possibility that you may make some mistake here um, so let me just make a mistake here and then I'll s show you what happens if you make some mistake here for example and if you refresh your Let me just go to some of the Java files and okay this is the module manager which is responsible for creating and displaying the content in the setting the content in JSP let me make a small mistake here for example I write PP okay the reason I made a small mistake